Over the last few decades, an endless amount of space discoveries have been made, reshaping how we understand the universe. Experts have studied the cosmos, and have managed to unravel some of the biggest mysteries. Many other equally spectacular discoveries however have not captured the public's attention. One of these that many may not be aware of is that of the Sri Lankan meteorite fossils. Discovering the fossil remains of extraterrestrial life in a meteorite would bring a new era in the astronomical study, as it would suggest there is life existing somewhere else in space. On the 29th of December 2012, a meteorite that was giving off bright green flames was seen hitting the ground in Sri Lanka. Researchers from the United Kingdom and US were able to get their hands on some pieces of the structure, and study the site in which the meteorite hit. The scientists said in their papers that several images from the structure showed fossilised biological structures, and that they were highly carbonaceous. In January, the team also published another paper claiming that fossils of organisms that were similar to diatoms were discovered in the meteorite. Scientists from the Centre of Astrobiology in the Cardiff University reported that electron microscope images of the rock revealed tiny fossilised algae forms. In a paper published in the Journal of Cosmology, March 2013 edition, the scientists in their description of the fragments said that an inspection of the images depicted the presence of some biological structures that were highly carbonaceous, with some being integrated deeply in the rock's mineral matrix, showing that there's no possibility of them resulting from recent biological contamination. After testing the fragments' nitrogen content in the oxygen isotope analysis, they concluded that the rock originated from deep in space and not from Earth, and suggested it could have even been a comet. So the question here is why didn't this discovery make the news? This discovery in itself would prove we're not alone in the universe. An early criticism of these findings proposed the possibility of the rock being merely terrestrial based, and was probably struck by lightning resulting in structural alterations. Another point of criticism was that the contamination of the rock after hitting the Sri Lankan grounds. Phil Platon astronomer and critic commented that he was dubious of the reports about the meteorite containing fossil remains. He says that when the previous scientists' works are critically analysed, it could be found that they didn't do enough tests that were critically needed in establishing the accuracy of their conclusions. Plate argues that the scientists did not determine whether the meteorite was indeed real, and neither did they consider the possibility of contamination. Plate consulted Patrick Koldig, a professor of evolutionary biology at the University of Colorado in Boulder, who discovered that the origin of the extraterrestrial diatoms could have undergone similar evolutionary events as here on planet Earth, and made the conclusion that the samples was in fact a contamination. These are just theories however, and there are those that believe this life form did come from space, with one person criticising their statement and saying the following. Even when we discover evidence of life in asteroids, we're not open-minded. It seems that the scientific community is also trying to debunk it straight away, instead of being open-minded, and in this case going as far as disrespecting other scientists' work. Another interesting discovery is that of the Charaklo asteroid, and this is because of its ring. Photos taken from the Cassini and Voyager spacecrafts have shown the glory of Saturn's magnificent rings. Despite Saturn being undisputedly the planet best known for its rings, Planets like Neptune, Uranus and Jupiter also have their own rings. The understanding of the formation of these rings and how they're maintained is still elusive. They could be ancient and most likely formed as a result of dust and ice in the planetary disk of the solar system, or recent additions from objects debris disrupted by impacts when they went too close to the ring planets. Some rings are maintained by the gravity of moons close by, while others are just on their own. There is one more body to be included in this list, and it's not a planet, but rather it's the first asteroid that's been discovered that has rings. With a diameter of approximately 153 miles, 10199 Charaklo is the biggest known space body that orbits mostly between Saturn and Neptune. While most of these objects have characteristics common to asteroids and comets, Charaklo depicts more of an asteroid characteristics. 
there is a possibility that it orbited beyond Neptune more than 10 million years ago, and got scattered to its current location after an encounter with the outer planets. On the 3rd of June 2013, scientists predicted this asteroid's occultation of a bright star to be viewed from South America. Astronomers observed from various sites as the asteroid crossed in the star's front. While the asteroid was travelling it blocked light from the star, and the scientists observed an additional event. A slight dimming of light some seconds before and after the main event, implying there was something else that blocked the light, which indicated that something circled the asteroid. After observing data that was obtained from seven different points of observation, the team identified the ring's shape, orientation and size. The system contained a ring that was four miles wide close to the planet, and another smaller ring that was two miles wide further out. Braga Rebus, a researcher, commented that from the asteroid surface, there could be two magnificent, sharp and very bright rings across the sky, noticeably close as they are around a thousandth of the distance of the moon from Earth. He continued to say that from the ground the bigger ring would block the outer ring's view. The rings and Saturn's rings have a similarity in density, brightness and formation from ice, water and rock, but differ in scale. According to researchers, the whole Characlo system would fit the Cassini division around 12 times. This is referring to the largest gap in Saturn's rings. Researchers have noticed the particles circling around the asteroid are travelling at a much lower rate when compared to Saturn's rings. Astronomers use seven telescopes with a majority set in South America. Among them only the European Southern Observatory's Danish 1.5 telescope in Chile recorded the small gaps between the rings. According to scientists working on the project, this was possible because they use a fast sensitive camera that could get an image sequence at around 10 images per second, similar to a video. Both rings' stellar constellation lasted a total of 0.6 seconds, so the camera was able to make a detailed observation. The other telescope's exposed time was more than 0.7 seconds, so they could only capture a single gap in the light. Characlo is the largest among the outer solar system bodies, with crossing orbits which are altered by outer planets. Another space discovery that's fascinated researchers is that of the Baby Boom Galaxy. Astronomers studying the universe have discovered possibly history's most productive galaxy in star formation. The researchers have said there are galaxy clusters that were born only a few billion years after the universe was created making them some of the oldest formations the universe has to offer. Also referred to as HFLS3, the not very new galaxy produces approximately 3,000 new stars every year, which is over 2,000 times more than the average Milky Way, and around 29 times greater than the amount of stars currently formed by similar galaxies. A great starburst galaxy happened only after the Big Bang, which resulted in the formation of this universe around 14 billion years in the past, making this galaxy most far away from the pure starburst galaxy, which is still there to date blazing through their dust and gas reserves to quickly form stars. The baby boom galaxy is however around 20 times bigger, producing stars at a rate of 20 times faster than normal galaxies. The baby boom galaxy is the brightest of the starburst galaxies in the very far away universe, and belongs to the Starburst Galaxy class defining its rate of forming stars. After its discovery and characterization by different wavelength telescopes, its appearance was that of an inconspicuous smudge because of the far distance. The galaxy stood out as the brightest after observations from telescopes at wavelength ranges of infrared and submillimeter. This is as a result of the many young stars. After their formation, the stars produce a lot of UV light and dust, which absorbs the light emitting it at these particular wavelengths, which explains why they're visible. To further understand the Baby Boom's galaxy unique glow, a team of scientists followed the studies up with several telescopes to measure how far it is to their galaxy, and found out that it is 12.3 billion light years away. Further measurements of radio wavelengths enabled astronomers and scientists to conclude that the Baby Boom's galaxy rate of star formation is approximately 1,000 to 4,000 stars every year, 
a rate that will require the galaxies 50 million years to form a galaxy as big as the greatest ones that have been seen today. Peter Kapak from the Spitzer Science Center of NASA said that initially, galaxies forming stars like this had only been seen in a teenage universe, but this particular galaxy formed stars while still in its childhood. The mystery is whether most of the big galaxies form stars early like the Baby Boom Galaxy, or whether this one is an exception. Addressing this mystery will enable scientists to understand the degree to which the model of the hierarchy of galaxy formation is true. Co-author Nick Scoville from Caltech said the observed incredible activity of star formation suggests they may be witnessing the birth of the most enormous elliptical galaxies in the universe. So what do you make of these incredible space discoveries? And what do you think about the meteorite that allegedly had fossils in it? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.